All right, folks, the deck is Inspire Demon Hunter. I figured since Demon Hunter has a one mana hero power, we might as well find a way to make use of some of the old Inspire cards like Bone Guard Lieutenant, Silverhand Regent, Cavaldier Raider, and Nexus Champion Sarad to get some value off of using your hero power in Demon Hunter. Now to help with that, we also have Garrison Commander and Auction Master Beardo along with some cheap spells to get multiple hero powers in a given turn, as well as Fellfire Deadeye to further reduce the cost of our hero power to zero mana. Essentially, the goal of the deck is to use these Inspire minions, push some face damage, and close out the game that way. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! Uh, okay. Just always keep these two together, right? That seems good. Not sure about the I-beam, but what are you gonna do? That's a, that's a draw. Let's play that card. And then next turn we can play this card, and then this card. And then we can make the opponent sad. We are using real swords, little buddy. Oh, you fool. You foolish fool. I don't actually have much support for this play right now, it just looks cool. Alright, most of my deck is playable next turn, so I hope that I draw that portion of my deck. We got the, uh, we got the wombo combo game one, no? Okay. Oh god. I mean, we're weak to a one health minion and defile, but like, what am I gonna pass up on this value? Now we're just weak to regular defile. That's not defile. Please don't have. Oh, you can't defile me here. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wondering what's the goal of the deck. You're you're watching it. You're witnessing it firsthand. Look at that. Uh, they already used the coin, so they can't Reno here. Five mana, eight, eight. It's basically like a Fell Reaver, but without the upside. What are they fishing for? <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was going to be enough. Oh, double battle friend. Uh-oh. It's a hero power battle. I might need to uh, coin a hero power to get the battle friend down and take out their one drop, or at least challenge their one drop. Yeah. That should probably die. I think this is the one I kept, so let's play that. Does Baku fit in this deck? Yes. I wanna get this down on three. Can you stop killing my friends? They have done nothing wrong. And they deserve your respect. I kinda need this to fetch an I beam, right? It's also decent with um Beardo after this gets removed because the opponent won't stop removing my stuff.
Are you kidding me? I'm gonna go here because uh, they can't. Um, they can't weapon into this at least. Hey, Ruffle, what's your opinion on the worst state in the U.S.? Indiana is pretty much Ohio, but worse IMO. Well, I haven't been to all 50 states, so I don't feel like I should uh, express my opinion on that. I will say that um, Ohio has Skyline Chili, so... It's kind of a yikes for me. But, like, my opinion of... Uh, of Ohio is sort of warped by the fact that I was there for a work trip, which is, uh, would, like, definitely less fun. I did that wrong. I did a big dumb there, chat. I was too busy raging about, uh, Skyline Chili. Going face, um, because we don't die to uh, kill command, and I can just use this next turn. As a viewer from the UK, what is Skyline Chili? <laughs> I don't like chili to begin with, but this was like another level of... Dear God, I hate this. Um, quick question for, for all the normies in chat. What is like the defining characteristic of a chili. What makes chili chili? I'll wait. Beans, the beans, beans and beef, beans, gross beans. Yeah, you're you're exactly right. It's beans. Those are extra. So what they do is they take they take chili, they dump it over spaghetti noodles. I presume the chili is hot at this point, and then they just reach into like a cold bag of cheese spike that on top of the chili, and call it a day. But the problem with that is that the, the cheese obviously doesn't melt, so you just get this, like, lukewarm web of cheese that, um... It's just like, what am I supposed to do with this? And yes, spaghetti noodles. They put it on top of spaghetti noodles. I didn't actually check to see if I could die here, but... So, I was taken to Skyline Chili on my lunch break while I was on a work trip, and I just felt horrible for the rest of the day because I ate that. I ate it. And it was not good. And then, the worst part of that is there are, like, competing chili restaurant chains in Cincinnati. And they advertise everywhere, so w I was just constantly driving by these billboards of disgusting chili and feeling sick the entire time. Cat, thank you for the 100 bits. I know it was a while ago, but to relive that day must have been horrible, by the way. Just out aggro the odd war hunter while taking a talking about bad food was uh, incredible. I wasn't really paying attention to the game. Fortunately, I would at least hope nobody comes here for the gameplay. <laughs> uh, I want a one drop. I didn't find it. Out here in California, we just eat loot food like normal people. I'm pretty sure that there are some California foods that uh, people would find appalling. I mean, we have what? Uh, yeah, it's like the strangest thing we have. California fries? Those are pretty good, though. I don't feel like people would be opposed to that. California rolls aren't from California? No. But I think California fries are like a Southern California thing. Or a California burrito. Same thing. Or similar thing, just served differently. Hmm. Is 
I think that's my best play here. I don't really care about that all that much. Is that similar to the Texas Whopper? Uh, California, a California burrito just has French fries in it, and California fries are just nachos, but with French fries instead of uh, tortilla chips. I mean, there's more to a California burrito than uh, the fries in it, but that's essentially its essence. That sounds disgustingly imp incredible. The fries are very good. The light protects me. I think I want to clear this whole board because it does look like aggro druid. Well met. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. So we're going to be kind of wasteful with this I-beam. But I've got a decent amount of uh, card draw between these two. Carnes out of fries. Yeah, that's I guess that's the proper term for them. Carnes out of fries. California burrito carnes out of fries. But essentially, the uh, it's the same ingredients, just differently or presented differently. Mm. This is okay. I'd rather have a one drop here. Is mine. I want to get these rolling next turn, so if I... I don't think I attack into that. Because next turn I want to play this and then double hero power. This beast will not be tamed. I could play this in single hero power. Nah, double hero power is very good into that. And I have a backup garrison commander anyway. Oh, God. Okay. secrets do you have? You have at least one. Lock and load? Oh god. <laughs> We're doing it, chat. That would have been a really good Rexar if this board uh, continues. I do love a good uh, discard. Oh, God. Face goes minions, minions go face. Hearthstone Fundamentals. Missed lethally, thank you for the seven months. Seven months of tier one decks, this is what I come to see. It's true. We had a pretty good win streak at the start. What's that? Oh, okay. That's lock and load, so it's not like their deck's built around that. Here, here, double hero power. Hmm. The Raiders tempting. Well met. I think I like getting damage through right now while I can. Especially since we know we're racing down the um, 
Call of the Wild. So, what's the last secret? Um, rat trap, it looks like. I guess we'll never know. Uh, I'm going to keep this. I don't know if I want to keep the I-Beam. I know we just faced an aggro druid, but I've been seeing fewer and fewer aggro druids. It's close to the outcast slot. Uh, I'd rather find some relic. Oof. Okay, well, <laughs> this is now more awkward than the uh, than the other one was. Let me work my magic. I have some regrets. Also, my internet just tanked there. I think the... Uh, the Skyline Mafia is coming for me. Okay. Um, I'm going to go here. And I want to take that attack in case they have an AoE buff. Or even the um, uh, the one mana targeted buff. Just so that that trades. Can this deck win? Uh, we're currently 4-0 with the deck. so No. It's never going to win. Same thing here, just need to soften it up. More like, more than likely, I'm going to have to hero power it down and uh, play this. Turns out a zero mana hero power is pretty good. It can be. Turns out, like, demon... Uh, there's the adorable infestation. That's the card. Wait, this is awkward. It's less awkward. That's going to need to die here. At least they're only getting one card off of it, but I'm going to have to um, three mana I beam it. Or I can just one mana I beam it. I think getting the card was probably worth there. Shadazar, thank you for the six months with Prime. This chat is very interested about food and it's making me hungry, I blame you. Hey, I tried to do the opposite by talking about bad food, but they just went off on their own thing. You can't blame me for that. I'm so used to the hero power doing two, I was like, in my head I was going to play the Warblades and hero power and kill that, but that's not how much damage the hero power does. Hey, I got you, friend. Are you going to watch BlizzCon? Uh, probably, yeah. Alright, Kodo Rider value. We're doing it, chat. With only one card in hand, I feel like this is a fine play. We should be able to clear up uh, whatever's left next turn. Like, this probably happens, then this. But then we just hero power that down and I-beam this. Okay. Oh, right. It goes, why are you leaving this up, though? Huh. I 
I don't want to overspend my um, my damage here. What is that, like a Savage Roar? <laughs> like, what is your last card? Oh, I was right. Value trade here. Like, they're just continuing to leave this up. I mean, I guess it's not that threatening when <laughs> I have one card left, but still. Oh god, we're just gonna limp across the finish line. Hey, David. Haha! -ha. Oh my god, how have you not pulled patches yet? <laughs> Skull, please? Uh, that's maybe good enough to get me there. Need to generate Paltris? I know. Even uh, Nexus Champion Sarad would be pretty good in the spot. Or Skull. Like, most of the cards in my deck would be quite good right now. I think I'm gonna have to trade into the patches with the minion. I don't want to, but... I don't know, we've seen double... Yeah. Oh god! I've seen double Savage Roar, so I shouldn't be in danger, but uh... That, that was a... That was a big dumb. Dude, WTF. I don't know why it's hard to <laughs> recognize that I made a mistake there when I said I made a mistake there. How much damage do I have? I would have lethal here, wouldn't I? Six uh, from those two, seven plus ten. Seventeen. No, I'd be one off still. Okay, now I probably would have had lethal. Am I three off? No, but I probably still would have gotten there. I can't win them all. Let the hunt begin. This ends now. I've seen a lot of hunters the past couple days. Always keep this. That's a good draw. Wait, Deck Tracker still thinks it's last game. <laughs> What's going on? Deck Tracker, you're drunk. I'm gonna have to reload it. I kind of feel like this one might have wanted to die. Well met. Reporting for duty. Oh my god, deck tracker. Go away, pink screen. There we go. Dead there we go. It's 
Okay. Not this time, Twitch chat. Unfortunately, we don't get the cost reduction value, but we do get to deal with this pretty cleanly without losing our uh, dead eye. This means we can top deck a Cavaldia Raider or a Nexus Champion Salad. Uh, just clear the beasts because uh, beasts are dangerous with skill command. Mm, do I want this now or next turn? I'll do it next turn. Hey, there's the Sarad. Oh my god. <laughs> How many times have we hit the um the skull into skull today? Sure. It's honestly probably a best case scenario. Which here did you pick for the Hearthstone pass at the end? I picked uh Valera. All right, let's get these two down for sure, because I haven't gotten a chance to play the Zerad yet, and I want that opportunity. The Skull can wait. <laughs> let's see if we can get the uh, Garrison Commander for even more value. Yeah, that guy. <clears throat> Pretty good turn. I don't know if the opponent has any outs here. We even played around crushing walls. Look at that. Let's see what more... I, I just want to see what's in the box. Treachery? Nice. Yeah, you can have this. I think I'd rather have... Uh, I mean, this is good as a kind of a hedge in case this gets cleared. Happy New Year. I would like a one drop though. Is mine. Why do people need to yell? Um, it makes it stand out in chat so they get the attention, so it probably just worked. Kingsbane. <laughs> okay. Aim for the wheels. Just to be clear, that attack with the weapon was not a good idea. Still not a good idea. This is more stats immediately. Which is important in this matchup. Maybe they don't have buffs and want to go for Radiant Party. Then they should just play Radiant Party as an Arcane Intellect. 
like allocating the mana to the king's bane is fine but doing one damage with it is never the play unless you're trading into a minion they top deck that by the way I'm not going to face tank this anymore. They're going to just trade into this for me. Next turn I get a Sarad down, and then I can follow that up with the uh, the garrison commander. Must be swimming in weapon fetch. Again, even if they are, I like. I really don't see it as the right play. Like, it makes sense if you're killing off a high impact minion, but they got three damage to face. That's not what Kingsbane is for. <clears throat> but King's Bane is a face deck. Yeah. And, um, How's that working out for them? Care to make a wager, friend? Aha! Yep. Could either go here and double hero power. Or just here. This seems better. Well played. I Thank you to legendary patrons Anonymous Toast, Brokey, Dope Guy, Fizzle Jizzix, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Molly Mock, Neofay, Shadow1TV, Sognisman, and Vanfix. 